Mercury, sometimes called Quicksilver, was one of the most controversial medications of the Civil War era. Doctors in the 19th century prescribed concoctions containing mercury to treat a number of ailments, including constipation, dysentery, pneumonia, and syphilis. Besides ingesting mercury, it could be administered externally via an ointment, fumigation, or even as a bath. Surgeons acknowledged that mercury often made patients feel miserable, an understandable complaint since they were literally being poisoned. But physicians felt mercury's purgative value outweighed the negative side effects. Private Carlton Bergen was a worst case example of what mercury could do to soldiers. He was given mercury in the form of calomel in June of 1862 to treat pneumonia, and by October large portions of his facial tissue had decayed and died. In 1863, Union Surgeon General William Hammond attempted to remove mercury from standard military medical kits. He believed too many physicians prescribed it irresponsibly and in quantities that were toxic. He was right. However, mercury remained as a standard medical treatment well into the 20th century and can still be found in a handful of over-the-counter remedies today. Mm -hmm.